In this lecture, we are going to learn how to download and install IBM SPSS software. IBM SPSS software is available for free trial from IBM website for 14 days. So you can download the software from there and practice on it. To download and install the software, go to the Google and type IBM SPSS statistics download press enter and the first link will take you to the download page of IBM which will give you access to the free trial version so this page lists many other softwares which are available for download and if you want to download the SPSS just click on it and it will take you to the download page so for downloading IBM SPSS uh, software you need to first do a registration with your IBM ID and if you don't want to do the registration with your IBM ID just to save your time you can sign up with your LinkedIn so you can select your country and reason and write your name then your email address write your phone number select your province company so we are not listing any company here and you can choose whether you are a student or not so if you want to receive the promotional information you can click over it and you can also select your preference for contact then you have to agree to their terms and conditions and click on I confirm As you can see on this page, the trial version is available for 14 days. So depending upon your operating system, whether you are working with Windows, Linux or Mac OS, you can download it. At the same time, you should keep in mind these uh, three versions are available for the 64-bit operating system. If you are having 32-bit operating system, then you should click on 32-bit software, this one. But uh, how you, you would know that your operating system is 64-bit or 32-bit? It's a simple. To know your operating system, go to your control panel and type system. So once you click on this system information, you can see your, uh, in my case, the operating system is 64-bit operating system x64 based processor so in case your operating system is 32 bit operating system so you will get the 32 bit operating system information here so depending upon your operating system make the right choice so i am going to download the 64 bits windows version so click on it so let me create a new folder here and save the file so it's a big file depending upon the speed of your internet it will take some time so i am stopping the recording at this stage and we'll be back once download is finished and we will learn how to install the spss software we have finished downloading the spss software now let's learn how to install it to install the software locate it in your computer I have downloaded the software here so just right click over it to install and run as an administrator so IBM installer is now extracting the file for installation purpose and you can see it's reading like IBM SPSS statistics 24 so we are installing the SPSS 24 version you can see the setup is preparing to install the files so now the wizard is ready to install the files so it will be ask you to proceed ahead so click on next then you have to accept the license agreement if you want you can read the license agreement by going through here 
and these are the details of various programs that are going to be installed so click on next IBM SPSS statistics essential for Python now IBM has allowed us uh, Python and R functionality integration in SPSS so I should recommend that you click on S because you would like to work with Python and R in future so click next then again accept the license agreement and you have been asked to accept the license second time because this time you are also installing the python 2.7.6 and 2.3.4.3 license so agree and click next and there is the installation folder where the files are being installed it's uh, good to know where the spss files are being installed so that later on whenever we will take the example files to demonstrate uh, various tests it's uh, very handy to find out where they are located so it's being installed in your uh, C drive in program files folder remember if it's a 32 bit operating system then your files will be installed in program files x86 folder because if you go to your C drive there are two folders program files and program files x86 so all the 64 bit softwares are installed in the program files folder while all the 32 bit softwares are installed in the x86 folder so our spss 24 version is being installed here so take note of this if you want to change it you can change and install it somewhere else some people recommend uh, installing the software in say external hard drives and uh, this is uh, like say if sometime if you uninstall or like say refresh your window your software doesn't get erased but i will recommend install always your softwares in c drive they run faster there and they are managed better there so click on next and click on install so the installation has started it may take few moments to finish the installation We are waiting for the installation to finish. So the installation has finished. Now it's asking us to start the SPSS. So let's click on finish and start the software. So the software is starting and we can see it's version 24 and uh, it's asking us to register the product for trial so if you want to register with your email id you can give your email id if you have already purchased the software then you can license your product and uh, if you want to purchase the product then you can click on the buy now option and purchase so currently we are uh, looking to try the software so enter your email id and click on start trial so you can see it's giving us access for the 14 days and the screen says your 14 days left in your trial so again if you want to purchase at any moment you can click on the buy now option and, push and, and purchase the product and to license the product you can click on this license button and license the product so this dialog box is handy but every time when you start a software it's a little bit annoying so what you can do if you don't want to use this screen or don't want to see this screen again in future so just click on this check box don't show the dialog box in future but if you want to like see the dialog box in future you can leave it unchecked so anyway let it be and let's close it and this is the interface of the new spss 24 version so we can see all those options that we need to learn is located here so in the coming lectures we are going to focus on how to master these options